important part on that path when you get to that place of empty and meaningless it can be a place where people can get stuck I know that on my own path um, that was something just sort of getting stuck there and going okay well none of it means anything so what's the point of even being here and as you say the point of being here is to take a walk through the garden and enjoy this great experience for what it is it's yes and uh, and that nothingness that like you said getting stuck it's you're not actually stuck anywhere it is uh, as far as I've been experiencing, it is actually an opportunity for you to actually stop and reflect and re reflect and look within and, and you see that, that when you don't seem to be traveling or going anywhere materially, that's the best opportunity you can get to actually travel internally. It's, and, and a lot of people miss that point. You know, I used to miss those points a lot, but now every time when I feel like Hang on a minute, I'm not getting anywhere. I actually take that opportunity and say, okay, it's time to go inside, you know, which means let's go inside, you know, like obviously nothing is going anywhere outside, so it's time to go inside. And that's the time where you actually get to go really deep inside, and it's fantastic. It's beautiful. I always call those times being on the beach yeah. and um, or being on the bench. I like both expressions, yeah. <laughs> but it's like my everything will be unfolding in really miraculous ways and really moving along quickly and rapidly and it's exciting and then there's these standstill moments and so that's always my higher self saying, saying go take a rest on the beach we're doing some organizing in the back behind the scenes here and take advantage of this time to relax because the next wave of miraculous events is about to unfold exactly i think every conscious light beings realize that there's something about to appear on the horizon. Those who are more conscious tend to have more inclination of what is appearing and even those who are not conscious are feeling it in their backbones. You know, they, they are feeling it, they know it. But I'm afraid to say that I think a lot of people are afraid to accept that something is happening so they become blase about it or they like dismiss it but they can't really it's still at the back of their mind you know who you are <laughs> we it's talk, there we're talking to you yeah. brothers and sisters yeah you know it's there it's coming just be positive be good be love and trust and trust yes i think love is the key honestly i think it's 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 been said maybe thousands of years many 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 great men and women have said it, that love is the key how many more years and how many more people have to say that it's time you realize it love is the key let's get to that it is the most powerful thing on in, everywhere in the whole universe it's love honestly lead it's love it's, you know it's yes very you know? True. the gurus and sages have been telling us this lifetime upon lifetime yes. And, and I think that it's um, the path of getting to that place of love. It's the journey of, of tapping into that abundant energy within us, which we're all on when we bang up against ourselves over and over. And then we seek new streams of consciousness or new teachings or new books or, you know, new videos to watch, whatever it is, because we are eternally led on that quest to clear away all the things that limit us from that access to that divine and unconditional source of energy that we call love flowing through us. And, and that's really what the journey is about, is to never give up. And especially in those hardest times, because a lot of the time in the hardest times, that's when we're just on the very verge of an epic breakthrough. And, and what you're saying about trusting and, and being in love and, and just allowing and and holding that expectation of that thing to show up. It's literally like creating space or creating a nest for the thing then to show up. And, and we, we need to just hold sometimes the energy internally. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like it's easier said than done, but it's hard, but it's really not that hard because uh, I think uh, the path of love is as numerous as the breath of men or women. 
Well, and it's a and flexing of the muscle because we have so many limiting programs that limit us from accessing the truth of who we are. And, um, you know, that's really that, what... That's interesting. Access. You have to get access. So you have to try. You can't just sit and expect things to fall in your lap. No, you have to try. I think that's part of the uh, of the law of nature. You know, like, you have to walk to get somewhere. So, even in this manner and in, in this in this matter you have to try you have to open yourself you have to open yourself and reach for the excess it's not just a, going to come to you free of charge nothing is free exactly. I think, yeah. and, and in, the in, universe in, I mean, yeah. will meet those steps sometimes when you feel like the energy is really stagnating just getting up and going for a walk is enough to move the energy for the phone call to come through that you've been waiting for or an even more exciting phone call to come through that you never knew was going to come through how does martial arts tie into this whole journey? What does it teach people? Uh, How does it help them access what we're talking about, love? Just, just like love, you have so many different interpretations and so many different ways that people think what love is. It's the same thing almost with martial arts. For, for me, martial arts, first, is about defeating yourself. Because, uh, I mean, you know, it's be defeating yourself, which means defeating fear, really fear of everything, even like the fear of death. You, know, you, you, will, you would have heard a lot of great masters will say like, uh, you know, conquer the fear of death, and, you know, all kinds, you know, on, on this level, they will say, but really it's just about defeating yourself, you know, because once, if you defeat yourself, it's that self-fear that you have of all these things that you have removed, which means, uh, you know, what was the question again? <laughs> I was getting too Cut. deep. <laughs> Cut.